Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, Peter! <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Bam! <laughs> review stuff, bam! And I am back for another review. You guys, I am so excited to review this. I keep on pulling it out of my refrigerator since it got here from Amazon, from the Amazon. The Amazon. Because it's like the same can as these San Pellegrino Ascenza. And these are my favorite new sparkling energy drinks. I love them. I just bought a case of them at a Costco. They come in three different flavors. If you want me to review them over here, I will review them and I'll show you the three different flavors. But this one is actually my least favorite, which is why I still have some of it. I love, I love it, but it's of my three. My favorite is the, it's something cherry. It's so good, which is so weird because I'm not like a lover of cherry. But this one is tangerine and wild strawberry. So, uh, but I keep on wanting to uh, grab this, but instead I grab, because it's like almost the same size, this, <laughs> which is the Bob Ross. <laughs> it's Bob Ross on there, Isn't that hilarious. Positive energy drink. Now, y'all don't know who Bob Ross is, okay? Bob Ross was like this painter back in the day. I think he was like on, it's so funny to me that like, well here, I'll just look up Bob Ross and I'll do the little Wikipedia for you guys so you know who he is for those of you that don't know. What's so funny to me is that like all of these younger people that are like dressing up like Bob Ross for Halloween and doing Bob Ross on reality shows and stuff like that, because I remember Bob Ross, okay? Like, I remember Bob Ross being on the TV in the background. And I remember him being on, I feel like it was kind of like on local access television. Like, in Indianapolis, that would be like Channel 4, which was Bloomington, or Channel 59, or something like that. I feel like it was like local access television. And it would be on at like 4, 3 or 4 in the afternoon, like after cartoons, <laughs> before dinner or something. And it would be Bob Ross standing there with an easel and his, you know, canvas. And he would just be like, and now we're going to go in with a little red. And it's, oh, isn't that beautiful? And we're making the barn and the barn is red. So anyway, that's what I remember of Bob Ross. And so it's kind of funny to me that there's been like this resurgence of fame of Bob Ross. So here he is. I'm going to show you just a little picture of Bob Ross painting. I pulled him up and then I'm going to read to you. Robert Norman Ross was an American painter, art instructor, and television host. He was a creator and host of The Joy of Painting, an instructions television program that aired from 1983, which would have made me 11, to 1994 on PBS. PBS! Okay, it wasn't local access, but it was PBS. In the United States, CBC in Canada, and similar channels in Latin America, Europe, and elsewhere. And he died July 4th, oh, of 1995. How sad. So anyway, he was married three times. All right, get it, Bob. So anyway, and he has one child, and that child is Steve Ross, who doesn't really look anything like him. Okay, so I was looking on Amazon. I actually bought a, a bunch of really fun sodas. And so I was like looking through all the sodas, and, and they're, I'm going to do the review, but they're like dirt flavored sodas and stuff like that, okay? So I was looking through there and one of the sodas was this Bob Ross soda. And I'm like, well, what is this? This positive energy drink. It has 160 calories and then, oh my gosh, 42 total carbs and not healthy. <laughs> this is not healthy. Included 38 added sugars. I mean, this is not healthy. I mean, most energy drinks aren't, right? But I don't, uh, I used to drink more energy drinks than I do now. Sometimes, like, if I go out or whatever, like, I'll drink one with, like, friends. But I don't typically drink them. I will tell you, I love the different flavored uh, Red Bulls, though, like the coconut and the summer flavors and all that kind of stuff. I think those are really fun. So, you know, every once in a while, I'll get one of those. Um, I did the rock stars for a little while. Like I would try, I, I think I've done a couple of reviews of rock stars on here. Um, I don't love them. They're way sugary for me. I usually do the, uh, well, I either do the flavor Red Bulls or I do the sugar free Red Bull. And, uh, and energy drinks are really expensive too, whether you go out or whether you get it at the gas station or whatnot. And such rock stars and monsters and all that kind of stuff. Like I don't typically do this. So, um, all right, so let's try the, oh, this was the thing I was going to say about this was that there is like no information online. You can buy it in cases. You can buy it in cans of two. I bought one can. <laughs> I just got one can. I was like, I don't think I'm going to need that much Bob Ross. Oh, real quick. I wanted to just 
peruse over this before I go to my review. I went to see if there was any reviews and there's actually one review and it is from The Basic Moms, Basic Never Boring. Uh, and this was written, posted on November 20th of 2019. It's like a blog post review. And she took a picture and everything. Real nice picture. Okay, so I just wanted to go through a review and see what happened real quick. Today was a rough day. I was wrapped up in my own big emotions and just stuck in a rut. I'll link this below too. Um, while running errands, I stopped at one of our local Five Below stores to pick up something for ye old crotch goblins. While I was in there, it was like, the, is it like Halloween time? Oh, no. Um, the heavens opened up and a beam of light came down. This is really well written. It was as if this moment that my life changed, forever changed, I happily discovered Bob Ross positive, positive energy drink. So Universe was obviously guiding me to the spot at this time. I desperately needed to get out of my funk and Bob Ross was going to help me. Okay, so where does she get down to you? I excitedly purchased in be the beverage with a hugely grinning Bob Ross on it and probably ran home to refrigerate it. That usually isn't a... Okay, she goes on. I excitedly cracked open the can and was met with an electric blue soda that smells suspiciously like cough syrup. That usually isn't a good, good sign. I don't think it is. But I didn't want to judge. I swear to you, I could almost hear the whisper of happy little trees swaying in the breeze as I bravely took a large gulp and immediately regretted it. I... I resisted the mini urge to spit it out and persevered. This shit, I'm sorry, this SHI took family friendly. Tastes so terrible that it is a disgrace to Bob Ross. It is also a disgrace to energy drinks. It's If Rancid Red Bull and UV Blue Vodka had a baby and left it to stew in the sun for a while, I would imagine that it would taste exactly like this, except at least that baby would get you drunk. This gag inducing libation only leaves you with a horrible aftertaste. I cannot tell you how terrible this stuff is. <laughs> guys want to talk about the nutrients. You guys, if you can get the taste of ro robot piss, this stuff is fantastic. <laughs> I can't feel my face. My lips are tingling. My veins are buzzing. I am certain I can now tell you the future and all the secrets of the universe. This isn't just a positive energy drink. <laughs> This stuff is a gateway to a happy new dimension. So much energy. Energy. The only time that I feel more glorious is when I wear my three... Okay, it goes on. And if you don't have taste buds at all, you have $2 and you need excessive amounts of energy and the ability to hear in color. Okay, you guys, this is so funny. I'll link her below. But here, let's try this. Are you guys ready? Cheers to you, Bob Ross. Should I get a glass so you guys can see what color it is? Okay, hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. Well, first of all, I didn't get a, uh, a thumbnail, so I need a thumbnail. Hold on. It's got to be, like, away from the ring light, though. <laughs> I wish the ring light wasn't so... It's going right down the middle of the can. It doesn't matter. Okay. See, like, now that would excite me because I like that color, so... It brings out the color of my eyes. Okay. Oh, good. A little remin re reminiscent of battery acid. Okay. <laughs> oh, that is horrible. Oh, ma'am. Okay. It kind of reminds me of like a Sour Apple Jolly Rancher. The wrapper. <laughs> Not the J Jolly Rancher, but just the wrapper. Dipped in like corn syrup. Oh, you guys. <laughs> you always laugh when I like say something and then I go back to taste it again. But like, I feel like I have to taste this again. Oh God. Oh man. And I can't do any more of it. Mm. That is so bad, you guys. Oh my God, that is so bad. Oh shoot. But I do think it would be kind of fun for a party, you know? Just to like, not for people to drink, obviously. God, they leave your party. But for people to try and stuff like that. Anyway, oh man, that's horrible. Anyway, have you tried this? Has anybody else seen this? Let me know in the comment section below. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.